Welcome, my name is Nick, and I promise that this video will turn into a video about origami, but you need to know a couple of things first. If you are new here, I do filmmaking tutorials and I share my films on this channel, and this origami video is not a guide to origami. It is a hilarious comedic film about origami. It's a short film. And this project, if you were my subscriber, you might be aware of a thing that I'm doing called the Dictionary Project. And this is the first film coming out of the Dictionary Project. Basically, the Dictionary Project is I picked random words out of the dictionary, and then I made films inspired by those words. You can learn more. I'll link it above. This film is inspired by the word fold. And I reached out to a fellow filmmaker here in Portland. We collaborated. He wrote the script. He acted in it. I actually directed it. I did the cinematography and I edited it. So let me know what you guys think after. Drop a comment below. Give that thumbs up a clickety clackety if you dig it. And I hope you enjoy this first short film. Origami is the Japanese art of folding paper into boats and animals and snacks. Also, because before there was paper, they used bread, which is probably a lot easier because you just kind of mash it together. Today I wanted to try one of the really hard ones so that everyone can follow along and make it too. A crane isn't just a big tow truck thing on a ladder that they use in construction. It's actually a bird. It's like a, a little bit like a stork, except the name is crane. So to make a paper crane, you just kind of start off and make like, and fold it like that. And then, so, and then you make these triangles. Origami is pretty much all triangles. The first time I learned how to do origami, my friend Tatsuya taught me and I went over to his house and we had to take our shoes off before we went inside. My feet were so cold. So fold it like that, and then flip it over, and then fold it like that again. So I've been making origami since I was a little boy, but there was like probably a, probably like 30 years where I stopped making them, but then I started again. I probably made like probably like 13 when I was a little boy, and then now I've made like seven. So I've made a lot. So you just basically keep making triangles. It's really not that hard to make the triangles. And just honestly, just keep folding. And then there's only like one hard part, but after that, it's just I'll probably finish it on your own. <laughs> probably don't even need to watch. Okay, so you have it, you pull it out a little bit and then kind of squeeze it. And then you twist it like this and kind of bend its head. And then that's where it would talk and eat and stuff. And then for the wings, you just bend them down just like where a bird would flap. And it actually really does look like a bird. It's pretty cool. And the story is if someone gets really sick, then you make a thousand paper cranes and hang them from little like tiny little ropes. And then the person gets better. My hands are kind of cramped, but if it was my best friend, I'd do it. But hopefully I'd do it fast enough before they die of their sickness. But remember, if you don't have paper, you can use spread, but don't eat it for snacks, because then it won't work. <laughs> so that's how you make uh, origami um, paper cranes. Well, I hope you guys dug that. It was really fun to make. It was, a, it was a hilarious experience. It was fun to kind of get in there and get my hands dirty and, and turn something around super fast. So that is the first piece of the dictionary project. I'm interested to hear what you guys think. I hope that you guys go out there and participate in the dictionary project yourself and start making some stuff and, and creating. And if you dig this video, you can give that thumbs up a clickety clackety. You can drop a comment. If you aren't subscribed, feel free to subscribe below. And I hope you guys have a great weekend. Peace.